Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This video is a little bit about the behind the scenes. I think it's important for you to kind of understand what's up and you're probably a little curious about how things work behind the scenes and I thought it was important to let you know especially because I'm a real person, like I have a normal life. And usually when I'm recording videos, my four children are not home. My four dogs are, and usually my husband is not home. Sometimes he'll work from home, but usually he's out at the office. And so I am at home and this is where I work. Now, this particular setup that you see is my couch in my living room. And this is a very casual, comfortable place for me to work. And when I'm able to do so, when the huge bank of windows off to my side cooperates with the lighting, I record in here when I can. And why do I put pillows behind me? I bet you're curious about that. You might not be curious. For those of you who are photographers, videographers, or have your own YouTube channel, you might be though. So I'm gonna tell you, I have, because this adds like nice color, that's why I put pillows behind me. It feels cozy. When I watch the videos back myself, it looks cozy and comfortable. If I take these pillows away, my very white platinum blonde yellow buttered colored hair blends into the background. Doesn't do anything for me and looks very boring to you, I'm sure. So I like to use these beautiful pillows to decorate. Plus then maybe you can feel like you're sitting in my living room with me. I mean, wouldn't that be nice? I hope so. I hope that's how you feel. And I like to change it up a bit. I don't always have that. Whoa. I know some people that do YouTubes or YouTube videos or any kind of video for their work or their business. Oftentimes they'll have a specific background or a backdrop. I don't do that. It's too boring for me. Plus, quite frankly, um, I have to go where it's clean in my house too. Remember the four kids thing? Yeah, it can be very, very messy here. So you often will see me as well right at my kitchen table. That's a place that I can set up quite well and usually that's where I work. I have a tiny little desk in a corner of the bedroom. There's actually a tiny hallway between my master bedroom and the bathroom and there's a closet there. And right there, there's like a little nook it was supposed to be another closet, just like a simple closet there, and it's just a nook. And I have just a desk there. And so sometimes my laptop will be there, but usually I prefer to work at the kitchen table. And when can I do that? When the kids are at school. So that leads me to another thing about filming, okay? So you've seen the backgrounds. Filming, as far as I bet there are times when you notice, especially if you are a keen viewer and you're a frequent flyer here at Above Life Channel, and you love to get the videos every Monday, which I post them on Monday, sometimes I'll surprise you and put one up on Sunday. Have you noticed that? Every once in a while, if I know I'm gonna be busy or I have kid appointments, doctor's appointments, whatever on Monday, I will put one up on Sunday, but usually Mondays. Stop back and visit Mondays and get the weekly new video. But you will probably know or notice that sometimes I look similar, right? I can look the same. That's because I will record multiple videos in one day and I will do minor costume changes such as with jewelry. Like I'll change my jewelry. I might change my earrings. I change my rings at times. You probably see that. I actually do have a beautiful, sweet wedding ring that I can't really wear right now because I've lost some weight in the past two years and so it's just a little too big and it makes me nervous wearing it so I don't usually wear it very much. You've probably never actually maybe even seen my real wedding ring. I do have a fake one that I wear that looks pretty big and impressive but it's not real. It's a big gold one. I should show it to you actually. I think I left it in the bathroom. I took it off. I just took it off but it's not real. You know, and then I have a couple others that I like to wear from time to time too. So I'll change my earrings, my rings, my jewelry, that kind of thing. I might also change my t-shirts or my sweaters or sweatshirts. Oftentimes I'll wear like a tank top and then I'll just take that off and layer over it, put a different cardigan on, a different sweater, that kind of thing. Or because I live in Minnesota, which is in the Midwest in the United States of America, it's really cold here. So sometimes you will see me wear these awesome 
puffer vest things and part of it is because I get cold. Like I'm a chilly person. I should really be living someplace warm. You probably can't hear me very well because I think I just covered up my mic. There you go. So I'll put on like a cozy sweater vest or something or maybe some hand warmers or I'll just change, change out a little bit. Maybe I'll, you know, put a different shade of lipstick on or something because I don't have a lot of time to I, I shouldn't say I don't have a lot of time. That's not true. We all have the same amount of time. Everybody has the same amount of time. So when people complain about time, wah, we make choices with our time, right? So I have to maximize my time when nobody's at home because this is my home office. This is my home studio. This is where I do recordings, videos for you. In order to do that, it's gotta be kind of quiet when I'm channeling. I can't be like, oh, oh, you're looking for your homework? Oh, it's such and such. Not when I'm in the middle of a channel. Uh -uh which has happened on live streams from time to time. If you ever follow my Facebook, <laughs> my Facebook <laughs> pages, <laughs> that kind of stuff does happen because it's real life. But so what I try to do is I try to channel a couple and I channel when I'm inspired to channel. I don't just go, oh, it's on my calendar. I need to channel today. Okay, I'm like, I'm going to work, making my coffee. Okay, it's time to channel, I'm gonna channel. It's not like that for me. I channel when I feel like channeling and I do try to set aside some time that I can channel um, a couple of times a week, but it doesn't always work out that way. If I don't feel like I'm in the mood to channel, I don't channel. And sometimes who I plan to channel is not the person I end up channeling, let me tell you, because I kind of go on spurts or binges where there's a particular afterlife celebrity that will be hanging out with me or I'll be really connected to or drawn to. I've done that with Marilyn Monroe, with Freddie Mercury, with David Bowie. I've done it with George Michael. So I sometimes that happens. So I'll record multiple videos with that person, but I won't share them all at once or in one week or in real time. I'll save them and then I'll spread them out because not everybody, I know it's gonna be a shock to some of you, but not everybody's a Freddie Mercury fan. Not everybody's a Prince fan. Not everybody <laughs> is a David Bowie fan. You know, I know it's a surprise, right? But, so I try to sprinkle it out, you know, but I, yeah, do I have favorites? Of course I do. And since it's my channel, I get to talk to who I want to talk to. I do have control. I do have creative control over my work for the most part. Some of the content I can't claim creative control over because it's channeled, right? So, so that's how it kind of is behind the scenes. I thought I'd share that with you. I think it's important for you to kind of understand that. I think sometimes a YouTube recording world can kind of seem like this big mystery or what have you. But, uh, and if you aren't used to, if you're not an entrepreneur or haven't had one in your life and you don't, or you don't know anybody that has a home office or works from home, then I think this can kind of be a little bit of a mystery. So, so maybe it doesn't look so glamorous now, but this is real life. This is real life. And I also want to say too that although I'm doing all of my channeling, my public channeling of celebrities here at Above Life Channel, and it's all free to you, um, I do have a business. I mean, I do, this is my work. Like this is my livelihood as well to work as a psychic, as someone that channels and connects with your spirit in private session and groups. I often, for, I often will offer classes and courses and series and that kind of a thing. I haven't shared any of that here at Above Life Channel directly with you. I may have shared a few um, events that I've had over the past six months or so, like a retreat or that kind of thing that's coming up. But I haven't, that hasn't really been a big focus at Above Life Channel. So there's a whole bunch of other aspects to me as well as a person. But for the purpose of Above Life Channel, as you know, the, chan the point is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. And we do that by talking to afterlife celebrities, getting their perspective on life. It's interesting, isn't it? It's fascinating. I learned so much about life from dead people and famous dead people are super interesting because we knew them or have some kind of a reference to them as human beings. And so it makes it so much more, there's just, it, it's, it's so much more relatable, I think. And so I hope you enjoy the weekly channels. Remember, I do them always, I always release them on Mondays for sure, sometimes Sunday. And I do at least one brand new channeling every week and with new content. And I usually try to do two or two different kinds of videos every week so that you at least get channeling related videos, right? 
like this one, channeling related. So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching Above Life channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, over with all of this stuff, you guys, the whole purpose of doing this is to encourage you to live your life like only you can live it. I mean, your life is special. You matter. And so the whole point of all of this, you guys, is to get you to realize and to remember that this is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.